Now, let's see how to set up the Red Pitaya STEM Lab 12510 Start Cricket. So, first of all, head on to the home page that is www.redpitaya.com. So, once you head on to the home page, you will see a documentation section. Click on it. So, now, uh, now click on the prepare SD card uh, section in the documentation page. So, this will take you to the prepare SD card uh, website and then uh, after that we need to download the red pit IAS, uh, sd card image so we need the image for stem lab 12510 starter kit so click on the latest table for the stable sd card image so once you click on it you uh, the if image file will be downloaded you will get a zip file you will need to extract it then you will have to unzip the sd card image uh, as i told before for the stable version then uh, you need to uh, burn the image using a tool so let's see so for windows you will have to download the win32 disk imager tool so you need to download this tool and then extract it as well and then install the tool so once you uh, have the tool installed you will have to run it as an administrator to launch there and then you have to select the uh, red pit IAS image file that's a disk image file and then you need to select the drive of the SD card. So in this case, this is E drive, uh, but whereas in your computer, it might be in some other uh, drive as well, like if a J or G, something like that. So you need to select it. And then you need to click on write. So once you click on write, uh, it will write the SD card image. So yeah, that's it. So once you download the required files, you will have to extract those files, that is the it fit IAS image file you have to extract it and then you'll have the win32 disk imager also you'll have to install it and once you install you'll uh, you can get the shortcut of it so uh, once you unzip it you will find the red pit IAS image file here disk image file then you will have to you know launch the uh, disk imager so the shortcut which you have so as you can see I have uh, inserted the SD card also it shows the an empty SD card 16 gigs SD card and then uh, you'll have to launch the disk imager so once you launch it you will have to select the disk image file from where you have downloaded it so now we'll head on to the play, uh, location where i've downloaded it so yeah now select the uh, disk image file yeah once you select it you'll have to select the drive so in this in my case it's the g drive so after you select it, you have to click on write. So continue, yes. So once you click on write, it will start writing in the SD card, the red pit IAS image. It will take some time to write it to the SD card. You'll have to wait for it. So once it's almost over, yeah. So once it's done, uh, it shows write successful click on ok and then if you go to the uh, this PC you will see that the SD card is now ready yes so this is the partition which is visible here so the SD card write is complete so once you have uh, installed the red pit IAS image in the SD card you will have to insert the SD card into the red pit IAS board and then uh, power up the board using USB cable and set up the Ethernet then once you set up the Ethernet you will have to wait for 30 seconds then you will see that the blue and the green LEDs are glowing this indicate that the board has booted up properly then the orange LED indicates uh, if the orange LED is blinking it indicates that the uh, board is communicating with SD card and the red, red color LED indicates that uh, you know the board is processing so this means that the board is up and it's running now uh, to access the board from the browser you will have to uh, type in the uh, web address uh, which is stuck on the ethernet port in the sticker which is rpf05bdc.local in my case so we will have to enter this in the web browser to access the red pit IR. so now uh, as you can see i have entered that uh, web address in the browser and uh, i can access the red pit IAS page so this is being hosted from the linux in the web server in the red pit IA itself so now let's open the oscilloscope and the logic analyzer so here the oscilloscope uh, you know you can see the waveforms coming so we can turn on and off the waveforms yes so this is how the 
let pitaya setup goes so thanks for watching